Hey guys, it's Devin. And today's topic uh, 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 <laughs> is about the mysteries of the open sacral sensor. So today's topic is about open sacral beings, which are the manifestors, projectors, and reflectors. And um, oh, what an awesome topic to talk about because what a difference life is if you have a defined sacral or an undefined sacral in your human design chart. So I'll talk a little bit about mechanics, what that means, and then some of the mysteries of having this open and what it means for your life. Um, on a mechanical level, um, basically when you look at your chart, you'll see one of two things. Either you have a colored in sacral sensor or it's white. And this is a big distinguishing piece when it comes to the four different types in human design. Either you are a generator or manifesting generator with the defined sacral, or it's undefined and that leaves you in one of the other categories, which are the other three types. And the way of living, the way of being, the way of experiencing life is very, very different. Um, and it's a really cool topic to talk about because a lot of people and a lot of the struggles in people's lives having an open sacral can really wreak a lot of havoc, can really cause a lot of confusion, and can cause a lot of guilt or feeling like something is wrong with you if you have open sacral. So let's talk about the mysteries here. Now, uh, before I jump in, make sure that you subscribe so you're notified and you stay up to date with more videos on these exciting topics. Um, and I will be continuing to share my life experiences and what I've witnessed uh, in my human design journey. So what does it mean to have an open sacral center? Basically, it means that your energy levels are going to be inconsistent. And it's, what a different life, right? What a different life it is like to live in a world of work and buzz and energy being somebody that is inconsistent. Now, what does this look like? What does it, it manifest in a way where one minute you might feel like superwoman or superman, like you can take on the world and anything is possible and you can do anything, to the other extreme, which is extreme exhaustion or being beyond exhausted and not having any energy. Now think about what it's like growing up in this inconsistency. What it means is that who is in your life or what's going on at the time is going to influence how much energy you have access to or how much you have to create with, to build with, or to work. So this can be really confusing for open sacral beings. Um, it can cause a lot of thinking that something's wrong with you. Um, and it can be really confusing navigating in this life experience having an open sacral because 70% of the population has a defined sacral and essentially the majority of the world is operating differently. So one of the first things to understand if you're an open sacral being is that energy levels are going to be something that you surf through and explore and are wise about throughout your entire life. It also means that being tired or needing to stop and take breaks is something to befriend and not something to deny. Because one of the biggest things about having an open sacral is having the courage to know when enough is enough, to stop working, to take those little breaks, and to really honor the fact that you're not going to be able to keep up with everybody all the time. And the sooner that you know that, and the sooner you own it, and the sooner that you're cool with not being able to kind of keep up with everybody all the time and kind of needing a different way of being or sometimes a different space or pace in life, the easier it will become. So for example, like if you look through my YouTube videos, my energy levels are different like all the time. And I know this is just like a human experience, right? And like not every generator is gonna have energy for things either. But when it comes to the open sacral beings, there can be this kind of like extreme difference. It can go from like having tons of energy and buzz, 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 don't know when to stop, don't know when to sleep, don't know, you know, boom, 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 to, oh my God, I can't get out of bed, I think I'm going to die, right? So these two extremes can cause a lot of up and downs for open sacral beings. Now, the trip though is about kind of balancing in those waves and really taking energy when it's there and not beating yourself up when it's not and really learning how to rest. So one of the mysteries of the open sacral is about 
learning how to rest. Like, boom, learning how to rest. Now for me, this has been such a journey. I mean, before I found human design, I remember feeling so guilty when I needed to rest. I remember like working so hard in my corporate job, like crazy hours and I would go 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 and then I would party 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 and I never know when to stop and then I would crash and I wouldn't be able to get out of bed or I would think something was seriously wrong with me and then I remember when I left my job feeling so guilty like I'm not allowed to rest I have to keep working I have to prove that I'm working I have to prove that I'm worth something by doing something with my life I don't have time to rest and what it was doing was it was like really creating a lot of, you know, I was sick, I was getting sick, right? And then when I found human design, it was like, oh my God, everything's starting to make sense with my life. Now, when you start to learn these things about yourself, having an open sacral, it's like, it can, it can freak people out at first and people can go to the extreme, like, okay, I've been working too hard, now I'm not working, right? And like what I would say with this is that this is a journey and that it's not about never working or not doing anything or not having any energy because if you have an open circle, you do have energy. It's just going to be unique and it's not going to be as, it's just a different way of riding the energy than if you're a generator. So it's a different trip of learning how to navigate in an energy world. So when it comes to learning how to rest, being an open sacral being, <clears throat> what I've learned is it's not like I need to be resting all the time, but I need to give myself permission to rest when I start to blow out of steam. Because the way the open sacral works is it's not this like, oh, I respond and I have energy to do things. It's like uh, the body actually needs to kind of build up the energy. So like for me, I'll stay calm for a while and then all of a sudden I'll have a spurt to, to share or to do and then it stops and I need to be like Jedi lasered okay with the fact that I need to stop. So learning about how to rest is can literally simply be I need to stop for 5-10 minutes and unplug. Or I need to take that nap because I know I'm going to feel better and I'm not going to beat myself up about it. Or anything that's you know to you and it's about having the courage to respect the fact that you can't go 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 all the time and not every you know nobody can really right nobody can go 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 all the time you know even generators get really tired too but it's different when you have an open sacral because your levels of tired can be scary tired and I mean like really scary tired like to the point where you're scared because you don't have energy and you think you're gonna die and I'm saying that because it's real and it sucks and I don't want you know other people to have to go to that extreme so bad and 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 go into that place because it's a dangerous place to go into if you're open sacral exhausted states are not our natural state and your natural state is probably going to actually be like more rested, you know, and calm with things. And it's about spurts and inconsistent energy, but learning how to dance in it and learning how to take care of yourself when it's not there and learning how to play and take advantage of it when it's there and embrace it when it's there and have fun when it's there. Because if you put an open sacral being next to a generator, it's like a whole different trip, man. It's like a whole different life. So imagine like the mindset of somebody who doesn't know that this is going on. Could you imagine like, imagine for a second the inner dialogue or go back to your inner dialogue about how confusing that is to feel totally different when you're alone and when you're around the buzz, buzz, buzz of the generator world. It's like two different worlds. And being an open sacral being, we can also get like addicted to that buzz. We can think, oh my God, I can't survive in this world when I'm not around the buzz. Or I can't do anything when I'm not around the buzz. I mean, oh my God. I mean, I recently went through like this crazy big move and I got to this level of exhaustion and panic that like I just broke down because I was like, I cannot do this myself. And my brother, who's a generator, I was like, he like saved me, he showed up. And the minute that we were dancing together and he was helping me move, 
it was like life was there. I could all, I all of a sudden had energy to work with. I had energy to move. I had energy to do things in partnership. And it was like such a difference. I mean, the minute that I come in contact with the generator, my life is a different trip. And at the same time, you're not always going to be plugged in. You're not always gonna be around the buzz. And it's not always healthy for us to be around it all the time. So this is a funny trip if you're an open sacral being. And you know, for me over the years, I've learned this like, I just have such this like love and appreciation for generators. I mean, oh my God, like it's like so beautiful when you recognize like how to dance in in the generator world and also recognize that you're not of it all the time. So if you're an open sacral being, meaning you're a manifester, a projector or a reflector, you may feel really different and you may feel really, you know, beat yourself up about it. But when you recognize that you have a different way of using your energy, you have a different way of navigating life and through that open sacral, you're able to see the mysteries of life. You're able to tap into the energy field. You're able to see into, you know, the life force in the world. It's this beautiful gift. And one of the biggest things you can do for yourself is one, recognize that, not beat yourself up for it, and start to experiment with what it's like to dance in and out of this energy. And stop beating yourself up when you feel drained or when you feel like you need to rest. Because if you're an open sacral being, learning how to rest when you need to rest, whether that's literally closing your eyes for two minutes to regain yourself or to just take that little revamp, right? Or whether that's really, you know, unplugging for a week and like totally being a cat. I mean, this is like survival, man. If you're an open sacral being, learning how to rest and learning how to move in energy with your energy and honor the levels of it at all times, this is survival, man. And that's one of the first initiations of being an open sacral being. So I hope that my sharing about the mysteries gives you some insight and some comfort into your experience if you are an open sacral. If you are a generator, this may give you some insight in into seeing what it's like on the other side. There can be a lot of like type-based prejudice where there's just total misunderstandings. And we recognize the struggles and the challenges of the different types and also the beauty and the difference, then we can all come together more and really show up in our gifts and what we're here to contribute in our own unique way. So I hope you found this helpful. I hope you take this as a permission slip to rest and a permission slip to know that when you are in that rested, open state that anything is possible and that uh, that's beautiful too. Um, and if you found this helpful or you resonate with something in this or you have your own experience about your resting journey and what that's been like for you being open sacral, I'd love to hear that. So make sure to put it in the comments and um, yeah, stay tuned for more. Thanks for tuning in today. Lots of love.